What's going on guys, Alex here's 814 EDC, and as you guys can tell, I am throwing it back to a side-by-side -side review. Um, so I have a couple videos to film for you guys today. Um, I have, so I have, the video that I'm filming right now is an unboxing video. Um, I have a package in from my good buddy Corey over at Stafford's EDC. Um, Corey sent me two knives, and this is arguably the most excited I've ever been for an unboxing. Um, there is a Roosevelt in here, and there is also a Trevor Burger LEXK, I believe, in here. So very, very epic unboxing um, from Corey. I've been looking forward to this for a couple of days. So this is the one that I knew that came in. Um, but I also have a package here from Christine over at Woman Carry Knives. And I'm not sure what she sent me. I, I wasn't expecting anything else. Um, I went in the, the Apex group, excuse me, and I um, actually take that back. I do, I have an idea now. Um, I looked in the Apex group. I wasn't on anything um, that was being sent to me. You know, I wasn't next in line for anything in the group, but I think this is coming from the Black Widow Passarn group. Um, I think it's a, I think it's a Best Tech knife. If I'm right, I'm gonna be pretty hyped because I, that just came to me as soon as I said Apex, the Black Widow group pa or, uh, pass around popped in my head. And I remember Christine reached out and asked me about Oh, I forget what the model is, the, the Nuke. If it's the best tech Nuke, I am going to be pretty pumped because that just came to me right away. Um, but that might be what that is. So um, it, for my camera, I apologize because I am filming this on my side by side. And I always have my uh, Apple Watch on me. As you guys can see, I don't have it on me today. Because um, I've been helping out, getting ready for my sister's grad party, which is tomorrow. Filming this on Friday, June 24th. Um, I don't know why I always say dates in this because, you know, you guys probably don't care, but um, I just never threw my watch on today and I wanted to get a uh, unboxing and everything filmed of this. And I was like, oh, I'll go do it on the side by side, you know, change it up a little bit. Um, and I got out here and I'm like, shoot, I forgot my Apple watch. So I'm actually using the front facing camera or the, the back facing, the front facing, um, the one you take your selfies with. Um, so it's a little bit different view for me because I'm actually looking at myself, you know, as I'm filming this. Um, but normally I'm used to the camera being over here on this side, but here the camera is over on this side. So um, I'm gonna try to make it work just for these couple of videos or because I have technically two, I guess I have an unboxing and a um, full review to do on this knife, which is the Benchmade Shootout. Um, this is my unboxing knife for today. So I will get into this um, in my full review, of course, but this is in from the Apex group. I've had this for about a week or so. I didn't film an unboxing of it because I had, um, it was in a package from the, flies are terrible. Maybe this wasn't such a good idea. I'm, I'm all over the place to start this video, but uh, this is in from the Apex group. I just, I didn't do an unboxing because I got home from the beach um, this past Sunday and it was in a package of some other knives that I had sent to me um, that I actually won from the Apex group. And I just, I didn't have time for a video just to get unpacked. You know, I was busy and stuff like that. So I just unboxed it. Um, but I'll get a full review probably after I film these. So, uh, but yeah, we're going to break into the package from Christine because I'm genuinely curious now if it's the best tech nuke. Put them there. Okay, so it's a package within a package. I'm also rocking the bucket hat. I got one of these for uh, my trip to the beach and I really enjoyed it. So I'm going to start wearing it a little bit more around here, mowing grass and stuff. I just... I've always been into hats, like I play baseball, you know, I'm a baseball fan, uh, sports fan, I've always been into hats and stuff like that, and I have, a, you know, a bunch of hats to wear around here, around home, and I don't know why I said that, it doesn't really pertain to my hats, where I wear them, but um, I've always wanted a bucket hat, and, I, you know, I went to Myrtle Beach with my girlfriend and her family, awesome time, it was really, really fun, so I got a bucket hat, and I really enjoyed wearing it, um, so I think I'm going to continue to wear it, and maybe even get a little bit nicer one, because this was just like... 28 uh, 15 20 bucks on amazon something like that um, but it's really comfortable and i really enjoy it so and i was right guys it is the best tech nuke so nothing else in that package so it's the best tech uh, box and then here it says nuke it's backwards to me hopefully it's not backwards to you guys um but yeah this is one of their premium knives and their premium collections so very similar to like the no guard and the thyra that i had in earlier um, that's cool. So Corey actually has some of his stickers in here. I don't, I know he had it before me, but I don't know if he stu stuck a bunch in there, um, for each person to take, 
but I'm assuming there'll be some in the package that he sent me personally. Um, so I will leave those in there for now. Comes in a Best Tech um, soft pouch. Comes with a microfiber. And here is the Nuke. So very interesting little guy. Little titanium flipper with a hole. I mean, these flies are terrible today. Um, has a pretty interesting titanium pocket clip. Looks like it has some sort of maybe fat carbon or like g mascus in there. Camera's over here, Alex. There we go. We'll give this a flip. So, very interesting little blade. Um, it is an M390. It says right there on the... I Hopefully you guys can see this because whenever I showed up to the camera, I'm blocking it. But I think you guys can see it. Right there on the flipper tab. Very smooth. Detent seems... A little light. We'll see if I can fail it. Yeah, detent is a little bit light. Cause on a knife like this, you kind of want it to be, in my opinion, a little snappy. But yeah, it's definitely on the lighter side. But it's very smooth. Um, clearly, this knife is on bearings. Very smooth. Middle finger flick works well. Ergonomically, it fits fantastic in the hand. This thing is just melts with this nice, generous uh, forward finger choil right here. And I get a very good grip on this. Very, very comfortable. Yeah, this is a cool knife. Um, I, I forgot that I signed up for this. It's been a little while, but um, blade stock is relatively thin, and it comes down to a pretty thin edge. At first, it looked like a hollow grind, but I think it's a I think it's a flat grind. Yeah, this is a cool little knife. I was not like expecting to like enjoy this as much as I am right off the bat. Um, it's very smooth. The only thing that I could argue about it is that it just needs a better detent. Um, it's hard for me to thumb flick because that hole is awkward. Um, but middle finger flick is awesome. And as long as you just, you know, give it some gas on the flipper, it's going to be really comfortable. Um, I wonder if you could flip the, the um, pot clip around the other side. Because there are two screws there, but I'm not totally sure. It is a frame lock, of course. Um, lock bar insert. There is no milling on it, but it's not a very heavy knife to begin with. So, yeah, this thing's cool. I will definitely be, you know, fidgeting with this a lot. And it's it's very ergonomic. Like, that's probably the biggest thing for me right now is how comfortable it is. Um, and it's just a very short, you know, kind of stocky, but very usable blade. So, uh, this is the Best Tech Nuke. And like I said, this was a total surprise because I was not expecting to get these in at all. Or... The only thing I was expecting today was the package from Corey. So this is pleasant. And a very cool, um, unexpected, but awesome. I can't talk right now because these flies are just biting the heck out of me. All right, next time spray, bu or, yeah, spray bug spray whenever you come out here, Alex. Get some water. All right, now for the main event got the box here and guys i am so pumped for this i have not yet experienced a rosie and i forget what brought up the conversation the other day um to Corey, but i think i i don't know if i commented or if i sent him a message um or how it got brought up but he he texted me or he messaged me and said have you checked out a rosie yet and i was like no i haven't and he's like, oh, well, do you want to? And I was like, hell yeah, I want to. Um, and then we got to talking and he's like, do you want anything else? He's like, I can throw in my LEXK in there if you want. And I'm like, oh, okay. Because he sent me uh, back in the wintertime. I'm struggling to cut in here with this. I apologize, guys. I'm trying not to cut my finger. I'm also trying to keep this box intact so I can reuse it when I send it back to him. Um, back in the wintertime, he sent me a Trevor Burger urban which i absolutely fell in love with like that knife is phenomenal fantastic um someday i hope to er uh, own a burger custom um so i figured yeah sure he can toss the lexk in i will um i'd love to check that out so i'm kind of fumbling here though Corey always tapes his um boxes so well all right so that is there and as you guys can see, the LAXK is popping out there a little bit. So I don't know which one I 
Well, we'll, we'll try the LAXK first because it's the first one that I have. Here it is, guys. So he has some sort of, I think it's Damasteel. I don't believe this is Damascus. I think it's Damasteel bolsters um, with very light blue accented uh, pivot collars, which is really, really cool. And then I believe this is a, I don't know if this is a natural micarta or a brown or an orange micarta, um, but it looks very good. And I'm not very, you know, big on Damasteel, Damascus, that type of stuff. Um, but on this custom, it, it looks really well done. Blue anode pocket clip, you know, to match the pivot collars. Seems like it has a little bit of milling on it too, which is cool. Dead centered. Give this thing a flip. Oh, it feels so good, guys. And there is the blade. I'm assuming this is M390 or 20CV. Probably M390. I don't know if it says it anywhere. Um, Corey sent me some stuff in uh, our messages about like specs and stuff like that. Um, and I literally told him, I said, can you send me some specs because it's easier than me, you know, wondering on videos and here we are. I, I looked at them, but that was a couple days ago and I, you know, forgot about it. So it is a uh, liner lock. The liners are also the anodized blue and it has a full backspacer here, which is really cool as well. I don't know if that's a micarta or a g10 apologize guys these bugs are really bad they're biting me they're flying across the windshield on here so oh oh my god guys did you see that barely any effort at all oh and that's nice and snappy see how that the acoustic on this are awesome I mean, this thing is ridiculously smooth. So on the burger, um, the detent was pretty stiff, which I enjoyed on the opening. Um, but it, it basically would drop to your nail. And then from there, you had to kind of shake it, sh like shake it a few times to close it. But this is, you know, you just got to move it a little bit and a little shake and it gets closed. This is awesome. Ergonomically fits in the hand so, so well. You can see he has the hand ground um, satin here. And this is going to be very very thin the um hollow grinds that trevor does on his knives are incredible the one on the burger was insane or the the urban excuse me was insane and this feels you know very on par with how that felt and the blade stock in general is not super thick but it just comes down to such a thin edge and i mean this thing is so much you know bugs are so bad guys i apologize this is just so much, you know, more, as, as much as I hate to say it, because I love the burger so much, or I keep saying burger, I love the Urban so much, it it was fun to fidget with, but this is very fun to fidget with, because it just has that drop ability. Um, try to, try to get my finger out of the way. I mean, you guys can see just how, like, glassy and smooth, I mean, there's no, no, uh, no friction, you know, no resistance at all there. It's very, very smooth. You should be at a middle finger flick it. Yep. That's a nice thing about the hollows that he puts on here. Um, again, with the Urban, you can do the same thing as I miss it, but you can get enough with your nail on there to flick it open. And that ting is incredible. Very, very good acoustics on here. These are awesome. Um, I was not... Obviously, the, the Roosevelt was like the main thing for me, um, but I'm really glad Corey tossed this in because this thing is just fantastic. And I'm, I'm just so thankful that he was, you know, genuine and nice enough to send these to me because Corey's a great guy. I would consider him to be one of my better friends in the knife community. Um, you know, I say we chat pretty frequently and he's just a great guy. He's, he's easy to relate to because... And it's not taken away from other reviewers and other friends that I have that aren't, you know, easy to relate to because they are. But Corey is, I think, the same age as me, um, you know, going through school, um, you know, just very similar sort of, you know, li lifestyles and whatnot. And he's just very, very easy to relate to. And he's a very good guy. And I'm thank you, Corey, for sending me these because I haven't even touched the Roosevelt yet. But this thing is just ballers, ballers, bananas is what I wanted to say. Um the action is just insane. So 
I'm going to really, really enjoy just fidgeting with this. Like I can just envision, you know, the next week and a half or whatever I have of these dives as I'm sitting there doing homework, sitting there watching YouTube, playing my PlayStation, whatever at my desk. These things are going to be fidgeted with so much. Um, they are going to get finger flicked a lot. And oh my God, I'm just, this thing is fantastic. So um, this is the Trevor Burger LEXK. I'm 95% sure that that's what it is. Um, I get a little bit confused with his models because they're all like LE, blah, 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 blah. Um, that's why the Urban, even though I've called it the Burger a few times, was so easy to remember because it was a word. But I believe this is the LEXK. Um, and this thing is just so good. So um, now on to the Urban. We're going to set that very nicely right there. Urban. Well, guys, I can't talk today. Now on to the Rosie. So it's all wrapped up in here. It's a Christmas morning, guys, I swear. Oh, my God. It's Okay, so right off the bat, I will say this is a little bit smaller than what I was expecting. Um, I, I know it's not a big knife in general, but I guess I was just expecting a little bit bigger of a knife. Um, but, man, this... I've wanted to try out one of these for the longest time um, and plenty of my friends have them. I've just, I've never felt like comfortable enough to reach out to ask them because, you know, these are like widely regarded as like a top one or two, maybe three pocket knife on the market right now. Um, you know, many people consider the Rosie to be a grail uh, and they're very, very sought after. Um, they're very expensive on the secondary. I think this, so I'll, you know, obviously I need to show you guys a knife, but I think Corey said this table goes for, I think like 700. I know they go base for 700, but I don't know if the golf putter milling and stuff like that and the Anno um, added more. I'm assuming it did because most times it does. Um, so this is probably an eight, 850, you know, $850 knife, give or take. Um, I need to confirm with Corey before I do my full review so I can give you guys the correct specs and stuff like that. Um, but on the secondary, these things go for, you know, 12, 13, 14, 1500 dollars, sometimes more than double of what the table price is, which is insane. Um, so as much as I want to get one, like I this is on my list of grail knives, obviously, as it is for a lot of other people. Um, but I just I can't justify spending that much on a knife secondary. So the only way that I would try to get one is if um I get one from the website from his drops. He does like email drops or email giveaways or something like that. Not a giveaway, but not a drop. Um, a lottery. That's what the word I'm looking for. Um, and I think he picks like 10 people every week or week and a half or something like that. Um, and then you're notified and then you can basically build out. Um, you, you get like a spec, sh spec sheet, spec list, whatever. And then you can build out your own one and then he may support you. Um, that's the only way I could, I would be able to do it because I don't, you know, even $700 base price is a lot for me to spend right now. Um, the most money I've spent on, <coughs> excuse me, the most money I've spent on a knife right now is the Demco 8020.5 that I just got in a couple weeks ago, which was like 330, 340. Um, so that's basically doubling that for the Rosie. But I think if I ever had the chance to, um, I definitely would, you know, sell some things to make it work because the Roosevelt, from what I've heard, is that good of a knife. And to be honest with you, I don't know how, how I haven't uh, flicked it yet because I've heard so many people say how great the action is on here. Oh my god. Guys, the this thing is stupid. The ergonomics on here fits so, so well. You know, I thought to myself, the action... Oh my god. Guys. Alright, I might have to sell some things because... This thing is insane. The ergos are stupid good. I mean, you get locked in there as I get a stupid fly in my elbow. The fly keeps coming back. Guys, I am sorry. Sorry, this thing is just all over the place. But, all right, either note to self, don't film in the outdoors anymore or film with bug spray all over you. The the acoustics the action i mean it's it's effortless um i think these have some sort of double detent system on them um i'm not totally sure but i think it has two detent balls very internally milled 
and I th I don't know if Corey got this off of someone. Um, I know he had a set like a uh, a first one that was more plain Jane, and then he got this one. But this thing is ridiculous, guys. I I really need to get one of these. The blade steel is I think Zeef in it. I think is what he does on there, which is a rust proof, um, basically not, uh, blade steel, which is great for me. Not that it really matters, but yeah, this thing is insane. And, and the golf putter milling, um, to me, that has been like the coolest thing um, about these knives. Obviously, you know, that goes in with the action and the the uh, aesthetics of it and everything like that um, being amazing as well. But I've just thought the golf putter milling is a super cool and, in my opinion, unique um, way to sort of decorate or pimp out a knife. And I think it's awesome. And in the hand... It, it feels so well. It's very kind of muted, um, but it, it feels awesome. Mill titanium pot clip on there. I'm kind of just a loss for words um, because of how just beautiful and how comfortable and ergonomic and fun this knife is. I mean, this thing is just oh, gorgeous. And is you know, when I first picked it up and how I commented on how small it is, are smaller than I thought it was. That's perfect for me because you guys know that I like smaller knives. So that wasn't a knock on it. I just thought it was a little bit bigger. Um, but it feels the, the hand so well. And I can just get a really good grip on it. Um, and uh, I cannot wait to just hang out with these for a week and a half. Uh, Corey, again, thank you so much, dude. I mean, these two knives right here are absolute beauts. They are amazing pieces. Um, try to show them to you the same time just beautiful pieces you have the oz roosevelt and you have the trevor burger lexk just beautiful beautiful pieces and you know i was thinking to myself like after Corey, you know after he had talked about it and you know he agreed to send these to me i was thinking to myself that this might put me over the edge to like go out and buy one because that's what a lot of people say they love about the EDC world and the knife world is the chase that you have to go through to get some knives. And I haven't had to experience that a ton yet because most knives that I try to get are production knives that they do either, you know, normal drops of, um, or if, even if they are limited drops, I've still had pretty good luck with getting on the website and getting them at certain times. Um, but the Roosevelt is just another sort it's a, it's a way new, it's a different level. It's 10 levels above what I'm used to. Um, and obviously I'd have to try to just get lucky on one of the, um, lottery spots. Cause again, I don't, I couldn't justify spending that much money on a secondary price. Um, but this thing is really, really awesome. And I, I'm blown away. I really am. Looks like it has a fantastic edge on it from Corey. Um, yeah, this thing is beautiful and I'm very, very excited. So I'm going to wrap this up because I've been talking for 24 minutes almost and the bugs are really starting to frankly piss me off they are very bitey and i'm gonna murder every single fly that lands on me but guys thank you so much for watching uh, i apologize this was kind of all over the place um, kind of random not random but sporadic i should say um, but it was my unboxing of the best tech nuke which i already put back in the box the um, which came in from the blackwater pass on group and then the trevor burger lexk and the oz roosevelt which was sent in from my good buddy Corey over at Stafford's EDC. So good, guys. So good. So, going to really enjoy these. And uh, full reviews will be coming within the next two weeks or so. So, be on the lookout for that. And, uh, yeah. So, thank you guys so much for watching and for listening to me stumble, rant, rave, curse at flies. Do what I do best. So, I uh, appreciate it. I hope you guys all have a fantastic rest of your evening. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.